This is a more detailed explanation how this is working. BF-Dynamics application creates a data warehouse and tabular database. Power BI report connects with a live connection mode and browse the data. When you switch, and it is recommended to switch from live connection to direct query, or you can create a new report that's connecting to semantic layer, then you have a lot of flexibility to extend the model. You can write measures, calculation groups, and with the new functionality, you can just click on external tools and publish this back to semantic layer. Actually, it doesn't go directly this way because then the new changes from data warehouse would override the changes from Power BI, but it goes through new write back client. So this write back client is a desktop application installed on a user computer that is not connected to a server. And this application finds differences or what's new between the local and a server model. You select the changes and publish the request to storage. Why do we do with this middleman? Simply because BI server may not be ready. It may not even be switched on. It may be processing. Maybe someone is working there. We don't have access. In most cases, users do not have access to the BI server. So the requests are stored in storage account under the license and the username and are waiting for BI server to respond. When BI server is available, then the writeback server part checks if there are any requests and says, hey, I have a new file with five measures. Let's process these five measures. And the same application that processes the data warehouse also updates semantic layer with this DAX expression from the file that user created. After this is done, then these measures, or let's say changes in general, are available to all users, not just to the one that created. And what's also nice is after the circle is done, then the application sends the information about the status back, where the user can say, oh, I'm done, so everyone already has it. Now, the changes do not take a lot. It's even actually less than I'm talking to. The changes are done in two minutes, but we found out that the best practices that task scheduler that takes care about the refresh of when the writeback server is executed is set to five minutes. Super simple and reliable. Now, if user does not have the access it's not listed as a registered user. If this user is not registered, then nothing happened. The file will be stored to the storage account, but after some time, it will be deleted as non-active and no changes will be written to the server and then to semantic layer. And the side, also the file will be sent this here. Let's have a look what's going on on the BI server site, what are the settings necessary to run BFO Dynamics right back? The client site is simple. You need BFO Dynamics right back client application. And let's check what is on the server side. Now, we are now on the server where you would need to install BFO Dynamics right back server console application. This is step number one. And we need to set up a scheduler and we are going just to create a new task to see that this is not big different difficult here we are for dynamics right back demo and we are going to run also when this is user is not login we want to use this as an admin permission execution and uh, this is this part here. The trigger, we want to trigger it daily and p task every five minutes. And we have to put an action. So what is going to be triggered? And this is simple. We're just going to trigger our application, the console application here. Now it will ask us for permissions. 
and permissions are going to be stored in application and this is done here so the demo one is just created we can see uh, the one that is running here we can look into the history and you can see this application has been running already for some time and it's running every five minutes if there is something to execute this is the task scheduler it's not a big deal to set it up and let's see what kind of information we have right so this is beer for dynamics instance write back instance in the setup folder we have a write back subfolder where first thing we have to enter the registered user so these are the user that currently can write to this instance from we have for dynamics write back client and only the requests from these users are going to be accepted it's a straightforward um, also what we can see is the logger logging information here it's every five minutes it's just saying hey i was checking for user one user two user three there was nothing so it was just a few second check so this one is quick but if we go a little up so here it is so we can see for these users uh, mg there was one two files actually max and every sales that have been implemented at this time this is it and one last thing here is we have in the right back subfolder requests everything that was executed this is in a readable format so it means that if we open this request this is a json file of our solution so let's just bring this json viewer here paste it and let's just get it into the view so here it is so we can see uh, we have measures supported which is everything about the measures calculation groups attributes or parameters if this would be in this case if i hope you have a better understanding what we have on the bi part on the server part and it makes a really good addition to our standard data warehouse solution. Thank you for watching.